Because I took up tennis more than any other, any other sport. I mean, long before your father, before you, all of you uh, arrived, I, I played tennis when I, was, when I was a kid. And that tennis tournament goes way back to the mid-30s. We used to play informally. We had the tennis court there. It was the only one in town, I guess, in those days. And um, we used to play a lot. And there was a man who, um, his name was Ward Canada, Canada, like Canada, Canada with a Y. And he was a friend of my father's. And he came from Toledo, Ohio. And he was chairman of the board of the Jeep company that made Jeeps, which were very big in World War II, as you know. Mm-hmm. And he used to come to the all the time, and he, was, he used to watch us play tennis. And he said, you know, you ought to have a tournament. I'll donate a cup, which he did. And it's, still, it's called the Canada Cup, Canada Tournament. It's the word's not used anymore, but whenever I'm asked to say something about the tournament and the cup, I said, this is originally a Canada Cup, but I mentioned the word Canada. And that's long gone from the past, but the, they still have it. I don't play anymore. I can't play. But you know I did play, as you did. Uh, that tournament was started as sort of a family tournament. And the two original players were my mother and George Phillips, Nick Phillips' father. And um, I forget who they played against. It's on the cup, if you can find that old cup. So that goes back to the 36. 1936. Yeah, that was a Labor Day institution. It started off with sort of a family, family members playing, and then it spread out into more, more courts, more people. Now I don't know half the people who play. I really don't know them except by name. But there's some good players, and it carries on. <laughs>